Hi everybody, I'm back and I just worked out, I just had, acu uh, not acupuncture, I just had a chiropractic adjustment and I laid on the biomat, which was very nice. So we're going to talk about foundations and I'm going to do lots of other reviews on foundations, but I want to tell you what my favorite foundations that are actually really natural on the skin. You know, there are a lot of uh, matte foundations. Uh, Sisley does them, Clay de Poe does them, La Prairie does them. I tend to not do those, uh, although I will do a review on them. I tend to like, so it's um, 3 30 in the afternoon, and I've had this makeup on all day, and I still look glowy and nice. And so that's, that's what I like. That's how I like to look. Everybody has a different way. But if you like to look natural, if you want skin-like foundations, I'll tell you my three favorite right now. <clears throat> so before I get to foundation, let me tell you what my very favorite primer is. It's um, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. Now, a lot of people think it's a little too glowy. Uh, for me, I don't find that. I put it around my face. A lot of people just use this on the high points, you know, right up here, uh, on the nose, right here, on, on the chin a little bit. But I really like to put it all over. Now, some reviewers have talked about using this as a foundation. I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to try it but it is fabulous as a primer. It's magnificent. So Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter wins for me. Now let's talk about foundations. And I'm gonna try to swatch this stuff. So let me talk just a little bit about the three that I'm gonna tell you about. The first one is um, in this little thing. It's by RMS. Can you see that? Yes, it's backwards, but you can see it. Um, RMS is Rosemary Swift. <clears throat> she makes wonderful products. And really, when I'm doing color appointments with clients and I'm working with makeup to see what will be the right color for them and, you know, so that they don't have to guess about it, I pretty much always put RMS on them. Now, there's some reasons for that. <clears throat> One, I know that it's all organic. And two, and this is an amazing thing, as I mentioned in another video, a lot of times people come to me and their skins are red. And when I put the tiniest amount of RMS Uncover Up, which is what this is called, the foundation is called Uncover Up, literally within a few minutes, all the redness is gone. I end up staring at them. It's the weirdest thing. It's like, oh, you're not red anymore. So... I love this. Now, if you have oily skin, because this is a coconut base, coconut oil base, it may not work for you. But for most people, it's really awesome. And it's like $38. And let me tell you, even though this is small, it will last you a year if you're using it every day or, or longer. It lasts because you use so little. And I'll, I'll swatch it in just a few minutes and I'll show you how much. The next one, and I don't even have the bottle anymore, is Gressa Skin. I had to put it in another bottle because the bottle they send it in gets kind of messy. Oh, and let me just go back for a second. In RMS, I wear uh, shade 11. In uh, Gressa Skin, I wear 1.5 So because I have very fair skin. Now, Gressa Skin is awesome. And the only thing I would say that's a holdback uh, for people is you have to shake it. You only use one to two drops. I mean, literally one to two drops. If you use more than that, you'll look like you have like makeup all over your face. But it's really quite amazing and is, is beautiful on the skin. And I love it and I use it. Now, the last one I'm going to tell you about is West Men Atelier. Oh, and um, this is $62. This is 67, and I really love this. I got to say, this is my favorite. So let me swatch this. I hope you can see it. I'll hold this up. So that's, yeah, you can see it. It's so beautiful. That's the Westman Atelier. <clears throat> Put a little grass of skin on here and rub it in. Aggressive skin and 
Aramis. Yes. Oh, I can hardly see it. Yeah, there we go. So you can see all of them. They're so beautiful. I don't know if it's picking up. Yeah, it's pretty much picking up. But they're really beautiful on the skin. And they last. Um, I'm not talking about powders today. Um, I happen to love the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter Pressed Powder. It's in light, you know, this three, three shades. And it's really beautiful. That's what I have on today. Um, but for today, I just wanted you to know about my favorite foundations and hope that this helps you because foundation is hugely important. It just smooths your skin out. It just makes you look and feel beautiful without a lot of, um, you know, having to do a whole bunch of makeup and everything. It just, it just makes your skin beautiful. But I'll tell you the other thing, it protects your skin. You know, people who go out without foundation, even if they have on sunscreen, you really want to have foundation on because it protects um, you, it protects your face. So um, I love I love these three. Westman Atelier is my favorite. And oh, let me just add one other one. And I, I hate to badmouth things. Uh, um, I tried the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick, and boy, on me, it actually made my skin look textured and weird. <laughs> I can't believe it. It was eighty seven dollars. So I took it back to Sephora. Um, last thing. Uh, let's see, RMS you can get online. I recommend though that you go someplace and try it on. They have many, many places they sell it. Anthropology sells it, all sorts of places sell it. Gressa skin you have to order, but they give samples. So you can find out, you know, if you're light, medium, or dark. Um, they send three or four samples. It costs you $15 or something. So you find out what you wear. And then uh, Westman Atelier is only sold at Barney's. Uh, I recommend going to a Barney's to make sure you've got the right color. I think they take things back. Neiman Marcus has changed how they take things back. But I think Barney's is still taking it back. If you don't like it, it doesn't work. Um, but if you go there and you test it, you'll get the right color. Uh, m my color is, um, it's one of the, it's very fair. <laughs> I don't know what, it's fair. Um, it's one of the most fair ones. It might be the first one. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe and like the video and um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks.